You might have seen blockbuster movie Interstellar. It was released in 2014 and was based on space-related concepts. It depicted space phenomena like black holes, wormholes, and alien planets with scientific accuracy. The most surprising moment of movie was in the movie's climax, where the protagonist, Cooper, fell into a black hole named Gargantua along his spacecraft. Initially, he witnesses complete darkness all around him, but as he descends, he encounters some grain-like particles, flashes of light and sparks that damage his craft. Eventually, he was ejected and finds himself in a mind-bending five-dimensional space where he can communicate with his past self using gravity. These scenes raise questions about the feasibility of such experiences inside a black hole. Do they really exist or was it only fictional? What we will see inside the black hole, we will try to figure out answer to these questions in our video. We welcome you to Infomish. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Let's begin with our story. Black holes were mostly unknown until the 20th century. A black hole is a region of space where the force of gravity is so intense that even light cannot escape. From the outside, you can't tell what is inside a black hole. Black holes haunt our universe. They are assumed as dark center of gravity that consumes everything in their path. A century ago, black holes were unknown until Einstein's theory of relativity shed light on them. The theory comprises two parts, the Special Theory of Relativity, published in 1905, and the General Theory of Relativity, developed in 1915. The Special Theory of Relativity explains how speed affects time, known as kinematic time dilation. For instance, if you travel in a fast spaceship, Time slows relative to those on Earth, but you will not notice time being slow in spaceship. Similarly, Einstein's general theory of relativity shows that gravity can also cause time dilation. More gravitational force you would experience, the more time would slow down for you. It is termed as gravitational time dilation. This phenomenon was vividly portrayed in Interstellar, where time moved differently on a planet which was near to Gargantua black hole, Cooper and his team landed on Aqua Planet in movie, and there one hour equals to seven years on Earth. Gravity affects everything. In the universe, there are objects with immense gravitational force that can absorb light completely, making them invisible. It means if there would be object with high gravitational force, that would be black and invisible because even light cannot escape them. Einstein himself found the idea of black holes peculiar and theoretical, doubting their existence in reality. However, subsequent advancements in physics confirmed the existence of black holes. Existence of black holes was not widely accepted by scientists until 1960s. The term black hole was coined in 1964. Einstein's theory laid the groundwork for understanding black holes, showing that gravity's influence, limited by the speed of light, has profound effects on the universe. Basically, black holes aren't actual holes in space but are formed from stars. Stars, including our sun, sustain themselves through nuclear fusion reactions at their cores, generating heat and light. This balance between outward pressure from fusion reactions and inward gravitational force maintains a star's equilibrium. However, when a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, the outward pressure diminishes, leading to gravitational collapse. The fate of the star depends on its mass. Smaller stars become red giants, after that it becomes planetary nebulae, or transforms into white dwarfs, while larger stars called red supergiants collapse and eventually explode in and turns into a supernova. After a massive star undergoes a supernova explosion, a small core stays. If this core is tiny, it becomes a neutron star, but if it's larger than that, we call it black hole. The size of a black hole is incredibly dense. For example, if our sun were to become a black hole, its diameter would be only about 50 kilometers. No one can even think of volume getting this small. According to astrophysicist Subramanian Chandrasekhar, our sun can never grow up to be a black hole because he developed a limit value which defines that maximum mass of a white dwarf can be 1.4 times the mass of our sun, above which it cannot be stable and our sun comes under this limit. Black holes come in several types. 
Stellar black holes. These are the most common type of black holes formed by stars and estimated to be around 10 million to 1 billion in our galaxy. Then there are primordial black holes. These are as small as atom, but their mass is like that of an atom. And supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies like our Milky Way with masses millions or billions of times that of the Sun. These are so big that their mass is more than that of 1 million suns combined. In interstellar, Gargantua was portrayed as a supermassive black hole. Scientists speculate the existence of a potential fourth type of black hole known as intermediate black holes, which would fall between the sizes of stellar and supermassive black holes, although no concrete evidence has been found yet. One notable feature of black hole is the accretion disk, a ring of gases and debris orbiting the black hole due to its immense gravitational pull. This disk emits high-energy radiation, primarily X-rays. The portrayal of the accretion disk in Interstellar was quite accurate, except for its color. While the movie portrayed it as orange, in reality, the disk emits X-rays, which are not visible to the human eye. The actual color of the disk would be closer to blue. The first photo of a black hole, taken in 2019, also used the orange-yellowish color to represent the accretion disk. One notable feature observed in the actual photo is that the particles on one side appear brighter than the other side due to the Doppler beaming effect, indicating their direction of spin. When viewing the black hole from the side, an optical illusion occurs, making it seem like the accretion disk covers the top and bottom of the black hole. Furthermore, as you approach the black hole, you would encounter the photon sphere, where light orbits the black hole due to its strong gravitational pull. If someone reaches this region alive, it would be possible to see the back of their head as light is traveling in circles around the black hole before reaching its boundary. This is known as event horizon. Once you've crossed the event horizon of a black hole, there's no known way to escape its gravitational pull, not even for light itself. In Interstellar, Cooper's journey and black hole is purely speculative as the interior of a black hole remains a mystery. Falling into a black hole would result in disintegration due to immense gravitational forces and can cause death in milliseconds. Despite misconceptions about black holes devouring everything, they actually play a role in galactic structure with celestial bodies orbiting around them much like planets around a sun. Maintaining a safe distance from a black hole is crucial for survival. Do you agree that if you fall inside black hole and somehow manage to come out of it, the rest of universe would have ended due to time difference? Let us know in the comments below. For more informative videos, do subscribe our channel.